All right, all right, welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, and I have another exciting experiment that I saw in the comments of my last one. Uh, and that was to, I'm really not quite sure what will happen. Um, I want to try and in double the mass of every single object in the solar system that is worth doubling and seeing if we can maintain the solar system the way it is and I really don't know I don't know if things will just like suddenly start going towards the Sun really quickly or if they're all of their doubled masses will just end up keeping them in the exact same spot that they're in now so let's see what happens when we do that you have to be careful when it comes to uh, changing the masses of these things because they'll just go into supernova and they'll end up losing a lot of mass and it's really weird okay so unrealistic let's just make it the mass of two suns boom made it bigger and oh Okay, and that, there's Mercury. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to pause the simulation because... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've actually done this in a video before. Maybe. Have I doubled the mass of the sun before? But this is just doubling the mass of the sun. But it does result in the, everything having comet-like orbits. Actually, how is the Earth's climate doing now that the mass of the sun is doubled? And we're in a very eccentric orbit, which means we get very extreme summers and very extreme winters because we get super close and super far from the sun it's probably twice as bright as well that thing is massive in the sky <laughs> oh boy oh yep we're losing our oceans here let's just speed it up over time and see if we lose everything earth's oceans now that is cool hold on here earth's oceans are very 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 dried up but i think we actually have some seasonal shifts uh with the ocean as we get closer to <laughs> the sun earth's oceans completely evaporate and then i think when we get as far away from the sun as we can get with earth uh the oceans come back basically at the periapsis almost at the periapsis let's, just, let's get towards the periapsis here okay okay we have almost no ocean we just got puddles puddles of water in our oceans but it's all in the atmosphere i think so let's see when we get to the other end and it is true the water has come back but it doesn't seem like it all came back. I don't think this is going to be a stable climate. I think we're just going to eventually be out of water. It's going to get lost in the uh, in the solar system and then, you know, so much for that. I think Earth's climate is stable the way it is, but it's just really hot. So it does go through the seasonal changes. You can see it right here. Goes in. No, wait. We've kind of lost all our water. There we go. It's coming back and then it goes away. And it comes back. No, actually, it barely did. It's actually still steadily going up. That was exciting. I am going to reload the solar system once again. And I am going to pause the simulation. And I'm going to go to the sun. And all our nine planets are nine planets, including Pluto. <laughs> and I'm going to double the mass of all of them. And I'm going to see if our solar system can sustain itself when we just simply double it. Uh, shit, I gotta do math, come on! 8.98 for Mercury. How much is Venus? Please be a nice number. 66 moons, okay, so that's probably like, what, 132 moons? Yeah, 132.4, I can totally math well. All right, Venus has been doubled. Earth has been doubled. Oh, there we go, this is easy. The size of two Earths. This is a super Earth right now, our gravity is basically double 17.46 moons let's double the size of jupiter let's get our double jupiter back we've already have experienced this before in a previous video 636 earths here 190.4 all right neptune where are you at 34.2 all right uranus where's uranus at there's uranus okay 14.5 earths okay so uranus is actually very very small Pluto! Pluto! We can't forget Pluto! I'm sorry, Pluto! 0 0.178 times 2 is 0 0.356 moons. We have doubled the mass of everything in our solar system that is not negligible in terms of mass. We'll probably lose some stuff, like some of the dwarf planets. I don't feel like getting rid of them all. Mass is double. The sun has doubled the mass. Realistic is off, so it doesn't supernova. Let's slow it down. Okay, so 14 hours per second here. Okay. Oh, Mercury! What's Mercury doing? Mercury is going off course. Interesting. Mercury is double 
the mass, but it's for some reason still getting closer. Whoa! Whoa! Your holy crap, they are going to have a collision eventually, and that's going to be very exciting to watch. I'll try and slow it down, and maybe we'll have a random collision with Mercury and Venus sometime in the near future. And Venus is going to be approaching Earth as well. Yeah, this is a little bit different of a result uh, from when we just had the sun's mass doubled. Everything's still adjusted for some reason. I don't quite understand it. I'm not... I don't understand orbital mechanics too much in gravitation. I I guess it doesn't quite work that way when you just double the mass of everything. It just stays the same uh, in terms of orbital path. Oh, Jupiter is really going through the asteroid belt. Holy crap! Let's take a look here. Jupiter, how you doing? Jupiter is at minus 107 Celsius. It's getting closer to the sun. It's going to get as close to the sun as Mars was. Holy crap. This is going to be a nice close encounter with Ceres here. It's probably going to throw Ceres off. Oh, this now this is cool. Okay, so now that I'm speeding it up even more, you can actually see uh, how much Mercury's orbit gets affected by Venus here. Uh, all of the gravitational pulls. <laughs> Mercury actually, its orbit almost orbits the sun it goes into a circular path of all the changes the different tugs on the different planets it just gets adjusted ever so slightly every single mercury is it mercury in year mercury in year and it results in that kind of path but otherwise everything seems amazingly stable there's saturn's full orbit there's jupiter's full orbit uranus is trying to go for an orbit neptune is working on it pluto's barely even moved once again, going through the seasons with the oceans. And now what is the climate here? 146 degrees Celsius. Totally habitable. Yes, it's boiling outside. All the oceans are boiling away into the atmosphere as we get close to the sun right here. And then as we get further out from the sun, the oceans come back. This is a magic. The entire ocean is just evaporating. Does it come back entirely? A, a, a large amount of it comes back, but the surface temperature only varies by like 10 degrees on our super Earth right here. Oh, 139 Celsius. Can we get a below boiling temperature? That'd be great. All right, let's see here. I want to do, I want to experiment more of like a binary Earth system. I, that'd be, I, I really liked my, my, uh, the video that was called my own solar system where I had my, uh, I think, what was that? Like Orsa and Oria system. But unfortunately, I lost the simulation for that. Oh, it looks like we got a nice frozen Earth right there. Oh, there we go. Everything's fine. I really like the idea of having a binary Earth system where instead of just having one planet and you have to travel millions of miles to get there like Mars or Venus, you just have a neighbor and you're just orbiting around and you just have shuttles going to and from the planets and you have two planetary bodies. And are they do they have the same days and nights? Kind of looks like they do. And they have, like, a daily eclipse every single day, it seems. When's the eclipse coming around? Maybe it's... Yeah, there we go. Just a big... <laughs> big eclipse around the entire planet, except at the poles. It's like you get a short uh, nighttime. Now, how can I make this more cooler? So we've already established that we have two Earths. We got twins going here. And there is the normal day-night cycle. And I think uh, I, whatever the rotational period of this would be... I'm assuming it's probably once every 8 to 12 hours you have the Earth orbiting around the other Earth and you get your mini night for a few hours. So you have the whole daytime, like your 12 hour a day, 12 to 14 hour a day or whatever, and then every few hours you have, oh, it's night for another hour. So how many hours of daylight do you really get? You probably only get like a few hours, maybe, no, you probably get like 8 hours of daylight. <laughs> with this kind of system and it's the and the same thing goes for both planets they're they're both pretty much identical you get the idea what if i just like had pluto just orbiting the planet for no reason orbit the planet pluto don't crash into the planet though okay and then what if i have okay let's uh let's pause okay pause all right let's have pluto orbiting this one right here here we go plutos we got pluto oh I was hoping that would be a little bit more stable, but I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, Pluto's coming around. Pluto's being launched out of the system. What happened there? Pluto. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ooh. Oh, and it went in there. Go around, Pluto. Go around. Don't get launched away, man. 
Oh, that was cool. Do you see that? It almost got captured by this gravity. I'm gonna try. I want- I really want this to get captured. Nope. Okay. I'm really gonna end up messing things up here. Oh, I just added a Saturn ring. Okay, well, I added a Saturn ring to our weird binary system. We're gonna watch to see how things end up playing out here. It just gets sucked into the middle of both planets, and oh my god, it's like a black hole. It's just spaghettifying the entire ring. Pluto's coming back. Ooh, Pluto's like a captured planet now. Ooh. Pluto. Eventually they all leave the nest and they eventually start coming back to the nest. Trying to mooch off your parents, I see. I'm gonna click on this Earth right here. I'm gonna add a Saturn ring. Add ring. Yes. And then I'm gonna add a ring. A Saturn ring as well. Okay. Let's see if there's a pattern that plays out here. Ding. Ding da ding ding. Oh my god. It's like unison. It's art. Look at this! Behold my art! My Saturn Apocalypse Earth art! How many craters, how many small craters do we have? Or they, I think they're probably just burning up in the atmosphere. An amazing amount of shooting stars, and I wonder if you can see this stuff all in the sky. I mean, you, I'm sure you can see the second Earth, but... Wow! <laughs> That's t it's like a bow tie that just got tied right here. I want to try that again. Or a pair of eyeballs or a butt. Actually, we kind of got a butt in space. Yes. And now let's see how it behaves here. Science. So cool. It just looks all ordered. It's like you, uh, a mathematical function just lying out in space. Completely symmetrical. It's a symmetrical mess. That's so awesome. You can just tell, it's like, you can tell it got pushed inward on this side, it got pushed in on this side, on the complete opposite direction. This side, over here, it's all symmetrical, it's so cool. <laughs>